What's up everybody, Justin Stoddard here today to share with you some insider information. So the cool part about not being a licensed real estate agent is that people tell me things they won't tell agents. This is information that has the potential to be of great benefit to you. So I just had a very close friend interview three real estate agents about selling his home. All three were referred in and none of them were the agent they used on a previous transaction. So why is that? And what was the deciding factor that caused them to choose one agent over the others? I have one hint, done for you offers. I'm excited to explain what I mean by that. But in the meantime, I want you to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification because let's be honest, I'm pouring a ton of value into this channel and frankly, I don't want you to miss things that will undoubtedly help you to have a more successful business and a more significant life. So my close friend confides in me that he wasn't overly impressed with his previous real estate agent, even though they were good friends, because this particular agent walked through their previous house and gave a lot of suggestions to spend a lot of time and a lot of money to get the home fixed up to where he felt like it needed to be. In the meantime, while they were doing all of this, a neighbor next door did absolutely nothing with their house, sold for sale by owner for the same net amount, not including all the changes that they'd made. They really felt like they had wasted time and money. So here they are now interviewing three new agents uh, looking for somebody to sell the next home for them. Um, agent A comes in and offered to come in and stage the home for free after they moved out and take care of all of that stuff for them. They actually really liked that. They were thinking about going with that agent. Then agent B comes in and said, hey, you don't need to stage it in this market. We don't even need to do open houses because the home would likely sell on its own in this market. Agent C then comes in and said she had a very specific process of cleaning, staging, marketing with the very best of the best team of other professionals. And that even though many agents don't do open houses, she insists because from that traffic, it often drives up the price even higher through in-person activity, as well as the added online activity they're able to create from each of these marketing events. She also went on to ask specific questions about the timing of the sale and the property gains taxes, things the other agents didn't see or didn't talk about. So here's the real takeaway for all of us. People don't buy or choose us for one of two reasons. The first, because they don't believe in themselves. Now, I don't mean this from some self-confident standpoint, but if the client feels like that in order to get the desired results, they're going to have to have a part in it, then they're likely to say, yikes, what if I don't have time to fulfill on my end? You've essentially inserted into the equation a variable that they can't fully trust, which is themselves, and that they might not be able to fulfill that requirement. Okay. The second reason they don't buy is because they don't trust you. If they look at the difference in value propositions between agents A, B, and C, agent C not only took the owner out of the equation, unlike the previous agent, they gave all kinds of evidence that their process would produce better results than the other agents. It became believable that what she does makes a difference. In recap, agent C is going to get this listing in a very competitive market for a couple of reasons. Again, number one, she took them out of the equation. She created a done for you offer, right? To where the client doesn't have to worry if, what if I don't do my part? Okay, that's the important thing, a done for you offer. That's key, okay? And reason number two why she's gonna get it is because her value proposition was stronger than the others. She had a very specific process and she helped them to understand that by following that process, they would get a better result, not only does that give her the ability to stand out amongst other agents, but it also gives her a head above all of the tech disruptors that are out there trying to say that all agents are equal. They all do the same thing, so why pay more? So these principles of raising the amount of value by bringing in outside trusted professionals, creating a done for you offer, all of this is, is discussed in my book, The Upstream Model. There's actually a link in the show notes and if you don't have a copy of it yet, um, you can actually get one for less than it costs me to print it and ship it to you. So go get it. And again, if you found value in this episode, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification, even send the link to someone who needs to hear this because it's so critical right now that if you get a listing appointment, that you actually get the listing. And that's what I'm all about is helping you to have a successful business and a significant life. And remember, go think bigger.